Divas, this is Shataria with Diva Life and Style, and I'm bringing you a great Diva quiz today. I'm going to help you figure out if you're dating Mr. Right or Mr. Right Now. Hey, make sure you go and grab your pens and paper, and let's get started. Let's get started, ladies, with question number one. When you think of that special guy, you, A, smile and get the warm and fuzzies, B, realize he never called you back at lunchtime and you suddenly feel a little anxious, hmm, C, think about the great time that you had with his friends a few weekends ago. Now, I mean, if you're thinking about someone who is possibly the one, I think you definitely want to smile and get the warm and fuzzies when you think about them. So uh, I would say A for that one, but let's just see where the quiz goes and head to question number two. So be honest. Do you feel completely comfortable when you're around him? Now, this is a good one. A, yes. You both know each other's flaws and it doesn't worry you one bit. Hmm, okay. B, sometimes. You're mostly honest with each other, but you feel like there's some things and mistakes that are better left in the past. Mm, okay. Now C, you say, not really. You don't feel confident being a, yourself around him and you worry that he might not like the real you. Well, I would definitely say A is the one for me on this one. You want to feel confident and like you can be yourself. Like they accept you for who you are. But, uh... Let's just see where the quiz keeps going. We're headed to question number three. All right. Have you ever felt threatened by his relationships with other girls? Now, this is a, a big deal in a lot of relationships, so let's see where you're falling. A, never. You completely trust him, and you know that they are just his friends. Okay? B, you accept his friendships with other girls, but you still find the idea a little difficult to be 100% cool with. Okay, that sounds reasonable. C, no. You know you both love to flirt and make each other a little jealous. Hmm, okay. So that's an interesting one. I definitely say, you know, you want to be able to trust the person that you're with, but you don't want to be naive and, you know, let things go too far. So I say B is probably the one I would go with for that one. Four, has he ever bought you a gift for no particular reason? A, definitely, he is always going out of his way to make you smile. B, he wooed you with gifts in the beginning, but mm, not so much now. <laughs> and C, no, but he always buys plenty of stuff for himself. Now, I would definitely say um, A for that one. I think it's important to show the person, not just on holidays or special occasions, that they're important to you. But um, I think it has to go both ways. It shouldn't just be one-sided. All right, question number five. Throughout the day, do you know what he's doing? A, constantly. You guys both call each other, text message, email, tweet, and make sure that you keep in contact. B, sometimes. But you often get a feeling that he just wants to be left alone. C. Rarely. You guys pretty much talk after hours and on the weekends. Mm. I would say if you're looking for someone that's the one, um, I would say definitely A. You want to know what's going on with that person's day and just keep in touch. And um, so I would say A for question number five. Question number six. Would you compromise or sacrifice something important to be with him? Now, this is a good question. A, yes. You understand that relationships are built on compromise and his happiness is your happiness and vice versa. Okay. B, maybe. It depends on what the compromise is. C, mm, probably not. Sacrifice and compromise are not words that are usually in your vocabulary. <laughs> I would definitely say B because they didn't really give us a lot of information on what the compromise is. Um, so 
there's some things that are non-negotiable, but you do have to give and take in a relationship. So since we didn't have a lot of information, I would personally say B. All right, ladies. Last question, and this could be the most important one. Do you see yourself having a future with him? A. Absolutely. You can't imagine your life without him. Aww. B. Maybe. You have to admit you've caught yourself doodling your name with his last name attached. Or C. Probably not. You're not sure how serious he is at this time. Well, if you're um, looking for Mr. Wright, I would definitely say A. You can't imagine what your life was like before this person came into it. You guys complement each other's lives. Um, then A would definitely be the one. All right, guys, it's time for the results. Now, if you were tallying up your score and you found that you had mostly A's, you might have Mr. Wright. That means you're in a happy and meaningful relationship and you're not afraid to shout it from the rooftops. You guys trust each other and that's one of the important components when you're looking at will the relationship last long term. So, hey, you might just have a keeper there. Now, if you got mostly B's, um, the jury's still out on that one. This guy might have potential, but you have to do a little research to find out. So give it some time to grow, put the relationship through some tests, and let him know what you want and see if he's interested in the same thing. Now, if you got mostly C's, uh, it seems like that's probably Mr. Right now, which is fine as long as you both understand that and no one ends up getting hurt. Just make sure the expectations are set for both parties and everybody knows that you're just dating and looking for a little fun. Let me know what you thought of today's Diva Quiz and tell me where your potential guy or your current guy fell. Is he Mr. Right or Mr. Right Now? Make sure you post your results on Diva Life and Style. You can hit us up on Facebook or on Twitter.